So last year I reviewed a book that a lot of people requested called The Holy Bible, and I thought it was, I guess, fine. You know, it, it wasn't particularly good, and I thought it was way too long and drawn out at points and had some weird fucked up aspects to it, but I guess it wasn't the worst thing ever. Um, but ever since then, a lot of people have been requesting that I review some of the sequels, and at first I didn't even know there were sequels. Well, yep, there are, and they're, uh, well, they're kind of odd. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. So I should start off by saying that the fan base around the Bible has a lot of, uh, let's just say conflict surrounding what is and isn't canon. Like, there are a lot of people who, if you remember, the Holy Bible is split into two parts called the Old Testament and the New Testament. A lot of people only consider the Old Testament to be canon, whereas other people consider the Old and the New Testament to be canon. Uh, and then as we get into the sequels, there'll be people that consider both of them to be canon, as well as some other stuff, and it just... It gets kind of weird and confusing, so I'm really not going to go into what is and isn't true. I'm just going to try my best to review these on their own merits, whether they're good or not on their own. So the first sequel I want to talk about is one called The Quran, and this one is uh, a, a little bit different. It's told in a weird format, I should say, because it's mostly done as, like, God speaking directly to someone, and if you remember, God was the deity that created the universe in this world, and, well, it's a little dry at times, I guess, because, I mean, the Bible, for all its flaws, that did have at least actual stories with heroes and monsters and all that. This one is mostly just, like, a continuation of that, which seems to realize that every, anyone reading is going to be familiar with all that, and this one is just God, I guess, clarifying some stuff? I mean, I'll give it this much. The idea of having a story where it's just a deity speaking to humanity and explaining things to them, and them trying to figure out exactly what he means, is a neat idea for a story, and it's told in a non-traditional format, so I'll give it that much, but I do prefer the structure of the Bible overall. My biggest issue with this is that there's some retcon going on here. Now, the most prominent one being around the character of Jesus, because if you remember, in the Bible, it was never made explicitly clear whether Jesus was just God in a human form, or if he was, like, the Son of God, uh, but it was agreed upon that he was the Messiah that saved humanity, um, whereas the Quran tries to retcon that, it just says, like, no, no, Jesus was just a messenger of God. He wasn't a messiah, and he wasn't God, but he was, he was a messenger of him. And I just, uh, I, I'm just not a fan of retconning in general. Like, this one is saying that Jesus will come later, or rather, a messiah will come later, and I just, eh, I, I don't know, I'm not a fan of that sort of thing. And just like the Bible, this one has some passages which are fine, and some which just stray into grimdark territory, you know, they seem a little unnecessary and kind of edgy. Like, uh, there's parts where it talks about how, you know, uh, if you want to say, make a claim, then you'll have to have proof behind it, whether you're talking about someone in court or you're trying to make a claim about science or whatever. But then there's passages where they tell people to, like, cut off the hands of thieves and stuff, and it's just, well, like, whoa, chill, chill out a bit, dude, okay? Just, just a little bit, okay? Just, there, there's no need for this. Overall, I guess this book was uh, also fine. I mean, I, I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the Bible, but, I mean, the Bible itself wasn't that great either, so, I mean, whatever. It, it was fine, but it was also kind of an unnecessary sequel. Like, you can definitely tell that this one was written by one dude, and he had more of an overarching uh, vision for it, or more of a unifying vision, I should say, as opposed to the Bible, which felt like it was written by a bunch of different people. So the second one I want to talk about is called The Book of Mormon, and uh, I, I should mention that this one is also considered to be the, th quote, Third Testament. Like, it considers the Old and the New Testaments canon, but it does not consider the Quran canon, so I guess we're coming into split timelines here, which, just on principle, I fucking hate those. So this one follows a different group of characters, who fled Jerusalem during the events of the Old Testament. And apparently they, like, left the Middle East and went across the ocean and settled down in America at one point. And then Jesus came to America after he died and was resurrected and then went up to heaven and then he went back down. Like, it, apparently he also came over to America, too, and talked to them. And then they built, like, a whole civilization and everything, and then it was destroyed, and... 
I, I mean, just, just, just describing the plot of this is pretty weird, and that's because, well, yeah, yeah, it, it's just a really, really weird addition to the series. So just like the Quran, this one has a lot of retcons, which I am not at all a fan of, like, in the slightest, just, just no, I, I don't like that. And I also don't like how it seems weirdly America-centric, like... I mean, say what you will about the other three books in this series, they were all focused on, you know, the Middle East. They were very much a Middle Eastern type story. And, I mean, I mean, I don't see what the United States has to do with this, or what America has to do with this. Like, it, it really feels like it's jerking off America's wing throughout the majority of the book, which just, c come on, man, what, what are you, Michael Bay? And the premise is so odd and so out there and just so... I don't know, it doesn't feel like it adds anything to the original story, that it feels more like fan fiction than an actual sequel. Like, say what you will about the Quran. That's like, an, that's a sequel. You know, I, I didn't care for it as much as the original, but it is a sequel. The Book of Mormon just feels like someone who really liked the original and said, I'm gonna do this better, I'm gonna put in my own ending, I'm gonna add my own OCs, and it's gonna be great, man. So that's about all I have to say. Um... I guess neither of these books were terrible, but they were just kind of odd. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this series, but hey, if it's this popular, it must be doing something right. So I guess if the first book sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and check it out. And if you enjoy that one, then maybe check out these two. I just, I, I don't know, just remember that when you consider what is canon, what isn't canon, and uh, how the timelines work and everything, don't go on online forums to ask people about it because they will yell at you. People are very, very entrenched in which one they prefer. So be sure to rate this video, comment, subscribe, uh, go to my Patreon, and uh, all of that fun stuff, and I will see you another time, I think, maybe, hopefully. Bye. There's an entire expanded universe.